Hi everyone, welcome back to Bypass Carnivore. I haven't put out a video in a couple of days because uh, we had a bad storm come through and um, we lost our power uh, for a couple of days. I had to keep up with the generator so that uh, you know the meat in the freezer wouldn't wouldn't go bad and all that and thaw out. So uh, yeah, uh, I did I did upload earlier a an older video that I did. Um, where I lost all my weight the first time around from having the gastric bypass. Um, I think at my highest, I, I was just under 500 pounds. I did have to lose a little bit uh, before they would do the surgery. That's that's their protocol. And then um, my lowest weight was uh, right about 196. And, um, you know that that did change my life it it did and i i was very active and and um uh just looking forward to um you know everything that comes with being able to be out and about and doing things again and enjoying life but you know all in all as as time went on and the um you know, the pouch doesn't stay that size after surgery. It it can expand. And uh, I just noticed after time, um, you know, I could eat more. And, uh, you know, as you start introducing foods back into your diet um, along the way, I noticed the cravings were coming back and, you know, the different sugar addictions were coming back. And I, I never understood it. Uh, fully anyways, but um, I do now. I, I, I really understand it now. I wished I'd known then what I know now, or I wouldn't have had the surgery in the first place. I would have just went straight carnivore right off the bat. Um, but having said that, you know, I don't regret it really, um, simply because I had gotten to a place where I had already had some really close calls. They had already had to call my family in a couple of times saying I wouldn't make it through the night. Not, you know how that goes. So for me, I think I was on borrowed time. And so I had to do what I had to do. And, and so in that regard, I don't regret the decision to have the bypass. Um, because if I hadn't, I don't think I would be here today. Um, so today, uh, is my family reunion. Um, I'm actually sitting out front of my sister's house. That's where we're having it this year. And, um, I know it's going to be a challenge. I just actually was able to finally kick the pop habit again. So I ended up with a really, really, uh, horrible migraine headache, um, yesterday and the day before. So, I've been battling that along with trying to keep up with the generator and, you know, that that kind of stuff. But uh, anyways, um, I'm here. My goal is to just eat the meat products. <laughs> um, I'm going to hopefully stick to that. Uh, being that I haven't been on the journey too long, it it I'm not I'm not gonna lie it. It is going to be a temptation. It's going to be one of those days that hopefully I will have enough willpower to, to do this. Um, and uh, I guess that's all there is to say about that. Um, I can't think of anything else at the moment. Um, I did, I did go for my walk this morning with the dogs. We had a lot of, oh wow, we had a lot of trees down in the pathway um, where I go uh, from that storm. And there were several people down there trying to pick up limbs and whatnot. I tried picking up a few, but if I, I knew if I continued doing what I was doing, I wasn't going to make it to the reunion for one. And I'd never make it to that picnic table if I'd have kept going. <laughs> So it is what it is, um, but I do feel better. I, I'm noticing that, um, that for one, my psoriasis is clearing up. Um, I've had psoriasis probably since middle school, and uh, 
um, it would go from my elbow all the way down to my wrist and, and sometimes cover my hand and um, usually more on the right side than the left, but I do get it on both sides. I've had it on my feet, my legs and whatnot, but mostly my arm. Um, for some reason, that right arm seems to just always take the biggest hit and, and stays nasty. Um, but it's clearing up. I've only got a few spots left and, and so I'm amazed at that. Uh, what else am I noticing? The pain in my knees. Um, a lot of, a lot of pain. Um, there, there have been times that I've really struggled with the pain in my knees. Can't go up and down steps and, and this and that. And I'm noticing I'm getting a little more stamina. Um, for instance, if I go to the grocery store, I can't, for a long time now, I haven't been able to walk through the grocery store in a straight up upright position. I've got to hold on to the buggy and I'm always leaning forward, hanging on to that buggy. I can come up for a few minutes, but then I'm right back down again. I'm noticing that I'm doing better at staying in an upright position. Um, so that that's awesome. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of the aches and pains, and I'm sleeping better, so that's a plus also. So I'm already seeing some benefits to this way of eating, and uh, I'm looking forward to all the all all the other benefits that come with this. So I don't know how much I weigh. Um, I wish I did. Um, but the scale that I currently own only goes up to 300. So I know that the last time I went to the doctors, which it's been a while, um, our insurances have changed over here and I've got to get all new doctors, uh, heart, lung, um, uh, regular medical doctor, everyone, everyone's got to go. I got to get all new ones because um, they all currently are working through what what we have here is Mercy Health System. Mercy Health is no longer accepting my insurance. So I'm going to have to um, find all new doctors. And, but anyways, I, I've had, I had a, an appointment. Well, I had a, a visit, but that's been... I want to say a good seven, eight months ago now. Uh, and at that time, I was at, um, I, I think I was at 320, somewhere in there. Uh, I'll just say 320. I know it wasn't any higher than that. So, I don't know how much I weigh. My... my scale currently like I said only goes to 300 and um it's when I look when I step on it it's going just above it like it'll go beyond you know how it starts over again um but it's not going far so I, that tells me I'm I'm right around that 300 mark I'm not sure exactly what it's kind of disappointing because that means I've gained back 100 pounds that I lost in the first place it's uh, it's kind of uh discouraging but at the same time I understand why I've I've gained the weight back I went I understand how and when it came back and maybe in a future video I'll get into that um but now it's just a matter of getting it back off and doing it the correct way because following their guidelines because I have gone back to the gastric bypass doctor that did it and uh, talk to their nutritionist and all that and and yeah there's a the stuff that they're allowing on the diet is not going to be helpful i already know that so i'm i'm not going to go back to them simply because um i did mention the carnivore diet and they shot me down right off <laughs> so um I don't want to get discouraged because I know this is correct. This is right. Um, I know how I feel. And um, I don't want somebody to talk me out of it. You know, and, and I'm very, I'm one of these people that is easily persuaded. 
because I always feel like I, I don't, um, they're smarter than I am or whatever the case is. I, I always, I don't have very good self-esteem. <laughs> so, uh, to protect myself, I'm just not going to go because I know they're going to try and talk me out of it. Um, and they have a way of kind of talking down to me, which I don't like. I don't appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you. Um, y'all pray for me that I make it through this reunion <laughs> and be good. Y'all have a good day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.